Looking for the ultimate solution for handling refunds effortlessly? Try Refund Manager for WooCommerce. This extension enables you to automatically approve and process refunds, or you can approve refund requests manually. Let's see how this extension works. Go to the Refund Manager under WooCommerce. Here you can see different tabs. Go to the Refund Rules tab to create a refund rule. Add the rule title for future reference. In first section, enable this checkbox to activate the rule. Set the rule priority and add the number of days for refund. Check this box to refund taxes. In next section, enable this checkbox to accept a refund request automatically. Enable this checkbox to restock the refunded item. In File Upload section, you can allow users to upload a file with refund request. Make this field mandatory and set the type of file. Add the message here for unwanted file type. In Restriction section, you can restrict specific user roles, countries, and payment methods for refund. We will leave it empty to enable for all. Set the minimum order amount to enable refund requests. You can select specific products and categories. We will apply on all products and select the order status. Refund option will appear for selected order status only. Let's go to the Refund Settings tab now. In General Settings, you can set the name which will show to users in their chat. You can set a refund button text to show with each item in order and for the entire order. Enable this checkbox to add a custom message for non-refundable products and add the message here. Enable this checkbox to add a success message displayed after submission and add the message here. For a customized coupon code prefix, you can use these variables to customize code and set the expiry days of the coupon. Enable this checkbox to show the refund button with each product. Enable this checkbox to show the refund button with whole order. Enable this checkbox to allow users to upload file with refund request and set the file type. Set the message to display when a customer uploads the wrong file type. Save these settings and let's go to the Stylish tab now. Here you can set the colors of buttons, button texts, message backgrounds, and message texts. Now let's go to the front end to see how it looks. Here we have added two products in the cart. Place this order and go to the My Account page. Now go to the Order Detail page. Here you can see the refund button appeared with each product and also for the whole order. Let's submit a refund request. You can see the filed upload field is mandatory. Add a reason and submit the refund request. You can see your submitted request here and send messages. Now let's go to the back end to see the submitted request. Here you can see all new requests of refunds, even approved, rejected, in process, close, and on hold. Click on the refund request. Here you can see the details of user, order, and refunded product. You can stock the refunded item and select the status. You can set a custom refund amount and offer a coupon to users. You can see the messages here and chat with customers. You can see the details of the generated coupon and log history. That's the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching.